What's up guys, Mason the Brock Henderson here, and this is going to be a first for me because, I don't know, I just really, I really felt like I wanted to start doing this. Um, I, it's going to be trailer reactions, well not really reactions, more review, but I do want to, I'm obviously more of a TV guy, if you can't tell by all the TV shows that I watch, but I do enjoy movies too, and I, I, Marvel is going to be the one that gets me into this, but there have been a couple trailers uh, recently that have come out um, for a couple movies, uh, one of which has been very divisive. I'm going to get to that one after I'm done with this one, uh, <clears throat> but the first one I want to talk about is one that just came out today. I'm so excited, and honestly, the only reason I'm doing this is because of how good it looks and how much I really just want to talk about it. So, yeah, starting now, I'm probably going to start doing some trailer reviews. Uh, and on top of that, when it comes to, you know, Marvel or DC or movie trailers like that, a lot of the times the reviews that I see, and this is not a bad thing, but a lot of the reviews that I see on YouTube are people talking about it from a comic book standpoint. And for people like me who didn't read the comics... They're talking about stuff, I'm just like, what What does that mean? What are they talking about? I don't get it. So it is kind of nice to maybe have somebody to talk about it, not from a comic book standpoint. You know, somebody who is ignorant from the comics, but, you know, knows about the movies in general. Um, so that's kind of what I'm going to be doing for the, the Civil War trailer. This is, it says it's the final trailer, I believe, so this may be the official final trailer before the movie. Uh, I think we're two months away now. So, yeah, let's get into it. First of all, biggest talking point, Spider-Man. First first time we, we've seen him. And the really nice thing about it is that even though, you know, he's been kept in shadow this whole time, not really shown anything, uh, we know he's going to be in the movie, we still haven't seen anything of him. And so they show this little clip, and even then it's like, we... We still don't know anything about him. Uh, but the the scene itself is really well done because it's after all of the trailer and it shows the title. And it's just like, wait, there's a little bit left. Oh, are they gonna? And then they do. Um, Tony's just like, oh, all right, under ruse. And then you hear it. And then the shield. And then Captain America's hands are tied up. And then Spider-Man lands holding the shield. And his eyes like narrow. It's just like, hey, everyone. That hey everyone just gets me every time because it's just so nonchalant, <laughs> and especially because this is a this is the first time in a Spider-Man movie, well not Spider-Man movie, but this is the first time in a movie where Spider-Man is not going to be older. <laughs> like we've had Tobey Maguire, we've had Andrew Garfield, both older guys trying to pretend to be high schoolers, and it was obvious, you know. It was kind of, you had to suspend your disbelief. It wasn't that hard to, but you really did have to kind of say, okay, it's just a movie, and ignore the fact that these two are obviously, you know, Andrew Garfield's in his 30s. I think Tobey Maguire was in his late 20s when he did it, maybe. Um, but this, we actually have a, a teenager playing this part, which is fun to see, first of all, but also just the way he says it, the, the tone in his voice, it sounds very kid-like, and from what I remember of Spider-Man, like watching the uh, cartoons back in the day, he kind of did sound like a, a little a punk sometimes. Like some of the the stuff that he, um, some of the jokes that he made, like Andrew Garfield did sometimes overdid it, but did pretty well. in whenever he had on the mask, you know, he would like make jokes with the bad guys and stuff like. The first, the first time that he took down a guy in the first movie was one of the scenes where he's overdoing it, where he's just like, you know, shooting the weapons, like, oh no, please, please don't hurt me, and then shoots him, just like, oh my gosh, this is so much... That's kind of what I remember Spider-Man being like, except not that over the top. And so the way he says, hey everyone, is just like, what's up guys, I'm here, how you doing, Spider-Man. And, yeah, that's kind of what I expect him to be like. I don't expect him to be like, you know, oh my gosh, it's Captain America, oh my gosh, it's Iron Man. You know, he just, he just webbed Captain America's shield away from him, and he's now holding Captain America's shield. If I was a kid in a suit like that, 
and I was just showing up, I'd be like, guys, I got the shield. I got Captain America's shield. But he's just like, what's up? <laughs> it's just so, he's just so cool about it, and it makes me excited to see what they're going to do with his character. Um, so, overall, I'm just really excited that even though they finally showed him and he looks awesome, we still haven't seen that much of him, which means there's a lot of potential for his character. Uh, but the really nice thing about this trailer overall is that there are, there are very many moments in it. Like, some trailers have one or two moments where you're just like, dude, do you remember that scene? That scene was crazy in the trailer. This trailer has a lot of those scenes. I really hope that Marvel's not, you know, playing too many of their cards because there are quite a few scenes where I'm just like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. But the thing is, are there going to be even more oh my gosh moments like that in the movie or did they just play like half of those oh my gosh moments? Um, but just to name, I'm just going to go ahead and name all the ones I can think off the top of my head. Um, you've got... The one that they showed in the Super Bowl 30 minutes TV spot uh, where Tony puts on the hand and he's fighting with Bucky and Bucky like shoots. The look on his face is brilliant because, you know, Robert Downey Jr. is a great actor. I've seen him, I've seen him act before. I know he can, but as Tony Stark, he's kind of been generally the same. You know, in, in Iron Man 3, I actually... A lot of people didn't like Iron Man 3. I did because we got to see a different side of Tony Stark. We got to see him, like, broken down. Uh, but in this, like, the look on his face just says it all. He doesn't have to say anything. He doesn't have to, like, overreact. Just, he stops the bullet in his hand, in the uh, Iron Man hand, and the look on his face is like, oh my gosh, I almost just died. <laughs> like, it, it, it's such a good scene. Um, there, there was the one scene where... You know, Black Panther, we've already seen Black Panther chasing after Bucky on a motorcycle with Captain America running behind him. But in this trailer, we get, he hops off the front of a truck and claws out the back tire of the motorcycle. I'm like, holy crap, that's freaking crazy. Uh, the, one of the opening scenes where they're show, uh, the, the general is showing all of these scenes, you know, from New York when the aliens attack, from Washington, D.C. and uh, Winter Soldier. Zakovia in Age of Ultron, he's showing all these scenes and like just looking at the looks on all, you know, they've got, um, I can't remember his name right now. It's Captain America's friend from Winter Soldier, the guy with the, the wingsuit. Uh, the look on his face, the look on Scarlet Witch's face, it just, it really is emotional. They can, they can feel like, you know, uh, what's, what's his name was in DC when all that was going down with the helicarriers. Scarlet Witch was in Zokovia when the buildings were falling. And so whenever they show that, each individual person is like, I was there, I'm, I'm responsible for that. And you can see that on their faces. Um, the scene where Hawkeye shoots an arrow, it like splits apart, and then Ant-Man jumps off of one of the arrows through Iron Man's fingers and onto his arm. I'm just like, oh my gosh, that's um, the scene where Scarlet Witch is holding down Vision, a lot, the one thing that I heard people not necessarily say negatively about the past review, uh, trailers, but one thing that people have been kind of questioning is, isn't Iron Man's team a little stacked? You know, first of all, when you look at the teams, yeah, Cap's side has more people, but Iron Man's team has Vision, and that's the one thing people kept saying, they're like, Vision is like, He's better than all of them, you know, uh, how it should have ended compared him to Superman when they did the how Age of Ultron should have ended. And I kind of get that, but when I first saw it, my first thought was, well, he'll be holding back a little bit because, you know, he's still kind of a hero, you know, and especially because Scarlet Witch is on the other side, they kind of had an emotional kind of attachment at the end of Age of Ultron, so... You know, I'm thinking maybe he'll be holding back. He won't really be going all out like he could. But then they show this trailer, and Scarlet Witch is, like, holding him down with her powers. I'm just like, there you go. <laughs> Any, anybody that was questioning that, there you go. It is pretty evenly matched because she 
is able to hold him down with her powers. So it's not exactly one side or the other is more powerful. They both have, you know, they have a counter, uh, a counter for everything. So that was that was nice to see. Um, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. Oh, the scene ne near the end where Iron Man is just like, you know, stop before you get hurt or something like that, and it just shows Cap kind of put up his fist. And he's just like, I could go all day. It's just like, holy crap! Like he looks, he looks like he's taking a beating in that scene. Uh, so that was interesting to see. Um, Uh, I think that's about it. They they showed it, the scene again with um, Rhodey getting shot out of the sky, and well, actually they showed him actually getting shot out of the sky in this one. We hadn't seen that before. And then Iron Man's holding him, and he looks dead. Th that could go one of two ways. One, he's not actually dead, and we're all just like, yeah, I figured. Why would they show him dying in the in the trailer? Um, but he, this is some sort of inciting inc incident where uh, maybe. Because I'm watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I know Hydra's involved still, so maybe something's going on where Iron Man thinks that it's Bucky or somebody on Cap's team that shot him, when in fact it's actually Hydra working in the background, or somebody else working in the background, making it look like that to start the fighting. Uh, the other way they could go with it, though, is that... I mean, that that's where they might go with it as far as him getting shot. He might actually be dead, though. Like, I just thought about it. I'm like, everybody's watching this and thinking he's not really dead. So wouldn't the ultimate twist just be, no, he's actually dead. We just, we showed you this to make you think, oh, they wouldn't show him dying just for him to die. Some people might look at that and say that's stupid. I look at that and think, that's pretty scary to think about. <laughs> that they could really mess with our emotions like that. Um, but yeah, so that, the really... Nice thing overall, though. Like I said, they have these moments. But the nice thing is that we get to see finally what the story is about. Everybody had theories going into it. You know, The people who read the comics know about Civil War, know about the story, had their theories about what it's going to be about, stuff like that. We finally know now that, that that general showing them the destruction and Iron Man steps in and he's just like, we need to have checks on us. And then they have that prison coming out of the water and it's just like, okay, so now we finally know where it's going. We've got Tony, who, Iron Man, whoever. <laughs> Iron Man is saying we need to have checks on us because and I think it's very interesting to see because in Age of Ultron, I think all those events have led him to this spot. Uh, point because everything he did in Age of Ultron like completely backfired and went against them uh, obviously when he created Vision that was one thing but he's the one that created Ultron and so I think the reason he's so far on this side of we need checks on us is because he was responsible for Ultron he was responsible for Soko Sokovia so I think that's why he's so far on this we need to have checks on us because look at what I did and I think he feels really guilty about that. Um, and so it is that he's got that side when he checks on us and Captain America is just like, I can't do that. I can't just not help people. You know, like that's not, that's not part of my nature. And so that's where the main conflict is. Um, but there's also maybe some other conflict going on too because Black Panther looks like he's really going hard after Bucky. Which means, you know, we saw the scene where the... The building blows up and then it looks like that somebody said that was Black Panther that was crying in the rubble um, so if that's the case is Bucky somehow to blame for that is that why he's chasing so hard after him who knows you know that's something to speculate about there uh, so you know there's a lot of stuff going on at the same time we don't really s still know everything we know the general plot now but we still don't know everything going on so they still kept it kind of under wraps. We don't know if that big battle where everybody's flying at each other is that near the end or is that sometime in the middle? When is all this going to happen? When is, you know, Iron Patriot or War Machine, whatever he's calling himself now, um, he's in that battle. So is him getting shot out of the sky, is that before that battle or is that after that battle near the end? 
there's a lot we don't know, and that's what I really have loved about these Civil War trailers, is that they've given us just enough to get us excited about the movie, to get us, like, raring to go, choose a side, cap or Iron Man. All of this stuff has been building up the intensity for the movie without giving us anything. That's brilliant, and I love what they're doing with it. Um, on top of that, you know, I'm, I'm excited to watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and see how Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is going to lead into um, the, the Captain America movie. So, you know, there's just a lot going on, and this trailer really, really got me hyped. I mean, after I was done watching it, I was both laughing and crying. Laughing because it was so good, crying because it was so good. It was just so much emotion. I'm just like, I need to see this now. So, yeah, it was really, really good, and I'm really excited for it. Um, so, before I go, uh, like I said, I do want to start doing some more trailer reviews. Uh, the next one will probably be Ghostbusters, just because that one came out recently. Uh, I'll probably also look at uh, Daredevil Season 2 trailer again. I know that it's been a while since that one came out, but, you know, since I'm starting to do trailer reviews. And on top of that, you know, it's a TV show, so it's something to look at. Uh, but yeah, you know, trailer reviews are something else that I really want to start doing. Um, so let me know what you think about this trailer, about future trailer reviews, what you want to see more of. Uh, obviously, I don't really have the ability to do kind of a reaction review. Uh, I would, I do want to start getting more advanced as far as my reviews in general. Uh, but for right now being poor, I'm filming off my laptop, so still not really able to do a whole lot, but for now, you know, what what do you want to see me talk more about in these trailer reviews, um, and, you know, some other trailers you might want me to watch, uh, let me know, let me, I'll, I'll get those to you, so leave a like and subscribe for more trailer reviews, and go check out some of my TV show reviews, I do episode by episode, so a lot. And I will see you at the next trailer. Peace out.